Hi friends, in this tutorial, we'll integrate Apache Camel and Spring Boot application. For this, I'm going to take reference of my website javanews.com. So go to the Spring Boot section. Spring Boot plus Apache Camel. So this is the application that we are going to develop. For Apache Camel, uh, Spring Boot provides a starter uh, Maven dependency. Camel have a Spring Boot uh, starter. Uh, we'll write an Apache Camel route to transfer file from one uh, folder to another and we'll start this route using Spring Boot. So let's begin with the implementation. Go to Eclipse and create a new Maven project. will require only a single dependency the camel spring boot starter dependency do a maven install and let this project build So we can see that by adding a single dependency, Spring Boot has uh, added these many dependencies which will be required by Camel, including the Camel Core, Camel Spring dependencies. Next, we define the Spring Boot uh, main class to start our application. We then add the class with the camel routes. So this is the uh, route that we have written. Uh, it will copy the file from C input folder to C output folder. These routes will be started uh, automatically when we start the Spring Boot application. Finally, we'll add this property here, camel.springboot.main-run-controller to true. What it does is that it will block the main thread so that the camel stays up. This will be similar to what we had done a year in Apache Camel project. So here, while integrating Spring and Apache Camel, if you go to the main, so here we have, you had seen that we had kept this thread to sleep so that our application is up. So this does something similar. So let's add this property. Create application or properties here. And paste this property. So go to the C input folder. In my input folder, I have a single file new text document. And in the output folder, I have nothing here. So now I'll run this application. So it has started. So you'll see the camel context, it has also been started. So if I go to my C output folder here, we can see that uh, the new text document, it has been copied from the input folder. So our application, it is working properly. Uh, the source code for this it can be downloaded from here. Uh, hope you have understood this tutorial. Thank you.